Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about the 11th round of World Chess Championship and this came in, in a draw but with the 99.9% accuracy by both the players and as both the players uh, in the online tournament we see a game which is worth third 10 minutes rapid game or 20 minutes 30 minutes. but these games just take up to 6 to 7 hours to complete so yes uh, this game featured the royal lopez opening where nupanyachi started the game with e4 and black responded with e5 uh, and going for the main line of royal lopez so now this is the main line where uh, bishop was protected so f6 now white uh, castles and now uh, now uh, black uh, bishop to e7 now is a close variation of the royal lopez for black so d3 a b5 trying to attack the bishop uh, because this bishop at this stage uh, is it becomes a dangerous danger for uh, black so he had to move this bishop to b3 d7 so together with eight uh, uh, a4 and hc3 this is one of the main lines of the royal lopez system so as you can see a3 was played and knight to a5 was played so it's a common move uh, mostly the player a5 a known move but much rare than the most common natural castle so bishop was protected c5 now the, at this stage you can say that ding is advancing on nipponyachi nipponyachi is playing as white so let's see how did the game went and this game has 99.7 percent accuracy for both players knight to c3 bishop to e6 now uh, ding trying to exchange the pieces bishop to g5 and now the black uh, it's a solid and typical move uh, the plan is to capture the knight and gain control of the d5 square and in royal lopez you know that d5 square is a important and it's a territory, territory move so black castles Uh, uh, Nipponyachi takes uh, with the bishop, the knight and bishop for the bishop, knight to d5 and g6. So at this stage, both the players are uh, in the same setup. They are both exchanging the pieces. So the next move, which was played, queen to uh, queen to d2 so instead it was knight to c6 is more popular in this uh, uh, variation but at this stage knight to c6 would have been a um, it's most popularly popular uh, because most people play but now if this move uh, wouldn't do him much so at this stage so yeah queen to d2 bishop to g7 so bishop to g7 is a, uh, actually a new move but as usual in this match it's never clear to me if ding has the position prepared or if he's improvising on the board so bishop to b7 and now this is a knight to g5 now this is a problem now this unpleasant knight is move is possible and it's plus uh, and it's a problem for uh, black because let's just say if if the move c4 was played in this so this is important move then the move c4 quite in now black with c4 why did black play this? so it's a quite risky move unless it was prepared before and as i wrote before this is not clear to me why did he just play this move 
so knight takes the bishop and pawn takes the knight Uh, knight goes back so black position looks a bit shaky with some potential weakness now we can see that black has this double pawn on one side and now this pawn that this file is locked and open but we can say the black does not have much control of the center so the next move was played uh, h6 bishop to h6 rook to uh, d1 so rook to b8 so anticipating an exchange on c4 so as the rook can now capture on b2 so the next move was played uh, d takes c4 now this move was a mistake uh, so because this move takes the game into a drawing line so Nipunyachi's decision is understandable as each draw brings him closer to the victory but perhaps it was possible to press without too much risk with 19 move if queen to e2 would have been a good move and you can just simply next move simply take the pawn with this uh, another pawn with the c pawn so knights are in the game knights are knight was taken by bishop and now at this i think i have niponiachi did this in purpose because in end game the knights can be uh, much stronger and now you cannot blunder your if you have would have captured with the knight then this bishop could just attack your queen so you will you have to be careful b takes c4 queen to d6 now black is offering white is offering in queen exchange and now as you can see when the queens are exchanged main pieces are taken then draw is inevitable queen to e2 black accepts and now pawn takes the queen bishop takes and now we take the, back the bishop and now the rooks were exchanged rook to b2 now rook captures the knight and the game is heading toward the neutral so rook to e5 queen to f7 so now at this stage white is unable to hold the extra pawn so white has to move so queen to g3 now Rook to e8, queen to e f7, and now, as you can see, Nipponiachi has just to protect his uh, rook. So this game can just end simply in uh, by repetition. Rook to e8, f7, and rook. To, so s certainly the dullest game of the match, we can say. Uh, the players now have a rest day and will certainly have fireworks again in the final part of the duel as Ding is forced to take risks so the three games of the world chess championship are remaining and these games are, are these games the remaining games are putting more pressure on both players because Nipponyachi if Nipponyachi's one mistake can cost him the world chess championship and these are tough time for both of the players so I hope you like my review uh, you would have liked my review and you would like to and please like and share uh, my channel and my videos so the if my uh, your channel or my videos are having uh, audio issues then they will be uh, better uh, in few after we make some money then we will definitely improve the audio so thank you so much that was the uh, round 11 of world chess championship and thank you so much